sumusunod sa ating lahat ng mga mananampalataya. Tayo ay nagsasagawa ng mga otot. Sa kaugustan ng pamahalaan, nagbawal muna ang mga pangpubliko pagdudukol upang matigilan ang pagkalat ng sakit ng coronavirus disease 2019 upang maisagawa ang balad ng isna ng kaimpin at mas makagulhan na rito ang ilang mga paalala. Punahin ang Diyos. Magtakda ng oras para tumasa na magkakaroon tayo ng libre oras. Sinakailangan na paglaanan pala ito ng panahon. Itigil ang mga pinagkakaabalahan at kaisensyo ng atensyon ang Panginoon sa banal na isa. Maghanda ng lugar ang dalanginan. Ihanda ang lugar kung saan makikita sa live stream ng banal na isa. Siguro kila ang lugar ay matinig at walang ibang makabubulo sa inyong atensyon. Makatutulong din ang pagdalagay ng munti altar at pagsusindi ng mga kanila. Ihanda ang pangatawan. Ihanda ang physical na pangatawan sa pagkiusa sa online na ating magbibig ng tama at magbibig ng katawan dahil ito ang makatutulong upang mas maging buhay ang biwa ng pagkiusa sa isa at mga panalangin. Tandaan din na gawin ang mga akot na hand gestures sa bagay na nila. Makila ko, huwag ginawa ng ibang mga gawain maliban sa pakita sa banal na nisa. I-turn off o ikara ang mga application sa cellphone o computer, lalo na ang mga instant messaging na makabubulo sa inyong atensyon. Huwag ginawa ng mga gawain bahay ang pakita sa online na. Pusito yung mind para sa mga ilang matitinding ang naidangan sa tulad ng pangalaga sa mga sanggol o sa mga batas maaaring ito o itigil ng sandali ang broadcast ng banal na isa subalit iyaking babalitan ito agad. Espiritual na pakikinabang Bagamat hindi makapakikinabang sa banal na communion maaaring magsagawa ng espiritual na pakikinabang o spiritual communion. Isang pangkala ay ang panalangin ni San Alfonso Nicoli kalahit nito ang buhay ng pakusto at sa inkil na panalangin.
Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is the solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord. Our mass celebration will be officiated by Reverend Father René Nadwa, Jr.
let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God. Make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak, for John baptized with water, but in a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, Suddenly, two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to the shout of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blast. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our king, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a pair of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon His holy throne. God mounts His throne to shouts of joy, a pair of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of Him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to His call, what are the riches of glory in His inheritance among the holy ones, 
and what is the surpassing greatness of His power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of His great might, which He worked in Christ, raising Him from the dead, and sitting Him at His right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet, and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now in the gospel today, my dear brothers and sisters, 
before he went up to heaven, he gave fourfold commandments. And notice the words all. In Greek, it is translated as Ola. But somehow, the English and Tagalog translation has given it a different word. It means for them, always, at the Tagalog, lucky. But let us concentrate, concentrate on the word Ola. All. The first commandment of our Lord before he went up to heaven is, all power of heaven and on earth has been given to him by the Father. This means that the disciples have to remember that he is the Son of God and the Son of Man. He is the one sent by God as the Messiah. He is the one to save the world. He is the one that God has given him powers over all creatures. And the Father has given to him on his feet the powers that God himself has because he is one with the Father. It also means that because the power and authority has been given to him, he now becomes the Lord of the universe the King of Kings. And He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Secondly, my dear brothers and sisters, the commandment of our Lord is go and make disciples of all nations. Again, His word, all the, all the, all the peoples, all the nations. And which means that now, he made his disciples the ambassadors of the good news of salvation. They are given the mission, the duty, to invite all peoples to come together in one sheepfold. They are to make all people Christians or the followers and believers of his word. And because of this, He will make them all the sons of God by virtue of baptism. That's why I said to them, make all the nations disciples and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And those who will be baptized will be given the gift of the indwelling of the Holy Trinity and will make a covenant with them. This is very important for us to remember. When he said, make all, but means no exceptions. They have to baptize and make people realize that Jesus is the Lord. To baptize them without any discrimination race, color, status in life, or whatever intellectual prowess that you have. Women, men, children, all of us are invited to become followers of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the third, my dear brothers and sisters, is baptism. Is that enough? He said to them that his disciples must teach the peoples and observe all that I have commanded you. Again, he used the word all that. All that I have commanded you. This is now the primary duty of the apostles. To preach the good news. To tell the people, these are the words that come from our Lord. To tell them and to reveal to them what Jesus has given to them. To share Christ with them. To make them realize that His words is the word of life. He is the way, 
the truth and the life. As he commanded, Jesus said also that to preach the gospel, to preach his words fearlessly, bravely, and not to be discouraged. They have to preach the word of our Lord, his message, whatever it may be. And the true disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ will not select Christ's teaching what suits him or what suits the audience. The apostles, the church, disciples must preach his word as revealed to them, as commanded by our Lord Jesus Christ, although it may be hard to follow, to observe all of them. Like for example, church, the disciples must preach against the moralities, against people who are insulting our Lord, to preach against same-sex marriage, abortion, to love our enemies, to wash the feet of our brothers and sisters. These are hard teachings of our Lord. And yet, said the Lord, teach them all that I have commanded you without reservations, without deductions. Obey them. Because you will come again to judge the living and the dead. And finally, before we went up to heaven, Jesus said to them, Behold, I am with you all the days until the end of time, until the end of the world. These are the words of our Lord that is consoling and strengthening the disciples. It means that Jesus had not left them. Jesus will always be present with them. And in order for them to have the strength, the inspiration to continue this mission, He promised to them the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will come to them what to say. He will always be present to them through this Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Truth. The apostles and the disciples will suffer, will experience trials and experience hardships in their lives as they are going, they are preaching the good news. But this is unto them, have faith, because I am with you, I will not leave you. These are the same words, my brothers and sisters, that God himself said to Moses, to Jeremiah, to Isaiah, to St. Paul. I am with you. Do not be afraid. And that is the promise of our Lord. That there will come a time that He will come back. He will return. And His promised disciples. And then when He returns, I will, I will bring you with me to share the everlasting life in the kingdom of the Father. These are very important words, my dear brothers and sisters. And that is why we celebrate the face of the ascension to remind us of all the things that Christ has said to us. The question is now, my dear brothers and sisters, are we a good observer of Christ's teaching? Even in this midst of crisis and pandemic, can we still say that we are good disciples of Christ? Can we still fulfill the command of our Lord to be good followers, to be good Christians in spite of all the days? 
Although I know many of us already itching to be free, itching to go out, itching to, to mingle with each other. Kapanin, mingle. Nagpupulo na ako sa salaw ng kumpenso nito. Nagpupulo na nga ako sa kakatingin sa mga kasama ko sa Kristal. From that time, I wake up until the day before I sleep, yung mungani na nakikita ko. Imagine that. Kayo, may hirap ko makita. But, can you still say, I am still a follower of Christ. I am still a Christian, a good Catholic. Can I still observe the commandments of our Lord? Let us pray that all of what's happening to us may soon stop, may soon be over for all of us. Let us pray for our Mother Mary, who will always console us, who will always embrace us and protect us from all of this. O Mary, Mother of Jesus, pray for us. Amen. Together now, let us pray. I believe in God. The Father Almighty. Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there we will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Jesus Christ lives forever and seated at the right hand of the Father. Will him we pray to the Father for the needs of the Church and say, Let our response be, Father of glory, hear our prayer. That the Lord may shower the church with his gifts, and may these gifts be used for building the body of Christ, we pray. Father of glory, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to proclaim the message of Christ through the fastest and most effective means, we pray. Father of glory, hear our prayer, that the communications media may seek and contribute constructively to the propagation of all that is good and true. We pray, Father of glory, hear our prayer. Father, send your Holy Spirit to comfort the sick and the dying, and to give eternal life to those who have died. We pray, Father of glory, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our own personal intentions. We pray, Father of glory, hear our prayer. Lord God, your Son goes back to you to share your glory. Our eyes can no longer see Him, but we see Him with the eyes of faith and continue to love Him. Make us serve Him by bringing the good news to them and women of today, especially to the communications media. We ask this to Christ, the same of Christ our Lord. Amen.
sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of Your Son. Grant we pray that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together, than any name of your glory as they obey. Joseph, her spouse, in the blessed apostles, 
and all the saints who have reached you throughout the ages. We are many to be called in us that are not like, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and with you, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
to our coming. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oratio Imperata God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calumso, pray for us. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, to allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, God, we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. May I make an announcement that uh, I invite all members of the Exicom for a important meeting, emergency meeting on Wednesday, May 27, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The agenda will be preparation for the uh, for the half opening of our church. So again, I invite and to inform all those involved, especially the ushers and collectors to come and attend our very important meeting. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go now in peace. And always obey the commandment of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah, yeah.